Yeah, I think it's the most flexible so, uh, production solution I know. And I'm since 29 years on the market. Michael, this is one of the machines, or the type of machine, that people come to exhibitions to see. Um, tell us about this Boomatech 191 Neo, because it's fascinating to watch. Thank you very much for being here. Yeah, this is true. This is one of the highlights we have to show here. It's the new, newest generation of the Boomatech uh, 191 generation, and it's called now the 191 Neo. It's a machine with 12 faces, uh, which comes out from the bar diameter, which is possible of 42, 50 and 65 millimeters. It means the biggest bar you can push through the machine is 65 millimeters. And we have four different uh, stations on the backside. Well, well, we've had to move people out of the way to film this because it's been so popular. I mean, we had to move people on because I really want to get the cameras inside as well and see what you're talking about, about the, the, the back spindle. Uh, the possibilities are, are endless, aren't they, with this machine in terms of the amount of faces you can hit, the, uh, you know, the complexity of the parts that you can machine. It's, it's really, really flexible. Yeah, I think it's the most flexible so, uh, production solution I know. And I'm since 29 years on the market. Okay, now I've seen here the tool, the tool changer here just behind you. They're quite small tools, though. So, it's, I mean, is that going to be a disadvantage to me? Have I still got plenty of you know, power on this machine? Is it still capable of, you know, some of the parts you're looking at here are quite tricky materials. Can I still machine them even though it's, you know, it is quite small? No, the, the machine is adapted to, it, to its needs. So we do not make very big chips and not big volumes. What we have to do is very filigrane work with roughing tools, example, of 0 0.8 millimeters. Eh? So the torque and all these things we only need for acceleration. So what we're really looking at here, let's have a look at this part. In fact, uh, you can see here, Mike, what, what is this? Because this is a really good way of demonstrating what the machine makes. Yeah, this is, of course, a fantasy part. It's not uh, belonging to any customer. But we have a lot of customers who are doing similar things. And this part is uh, a, a medical chore for instruments, for medical instruments. Could you just put it to the camera and just turn it a little bit so we can we can just see the, the detail on that and the amount of operations that you would normally have to uh, to do to actually machine something. I mean, how else could you make a part like that? I'm thinking... The we, we are coming from, from the bar and we made the complete uh, operation, including, we call it the sixth side. Uh, so we, we come out with a finished part. We make two of them. The only difference is uh, the step between the teeth and we can assemble the part here live on the exhibition. So what comes out is this part here. Okay, I'm gonna take this off here as well, so I'm gonna have a look in a little bit more, more detail at this. I mean, the, also the, the, the surface finish on it and the precision must be... Uh, have also to look inside of this uh, mechanical system, which is the click system to, to assemble the part. You assemble it one time and then it's a lifetime assembled. Okay, okay. I mean, what, what tolerances would you have to chase on things like this? Because that's why you wouldn't want to do it on another machine where you've got to move it, turn in, mill in, all of those different operations. You've got to do it in one hit to get the best. Uh, tolerances is always difficult to tell in this complex part, but I'll tell you a small story. I have a new application engineer and he's coming from a standard CNC tool manufacturer and he adapted this uh, part for the exhibition and he said, Ah, I adjusted the machine for one micron and you feel the difference. And the machine is keeping this difference. Wow, I mean, it's, yeah. it, it's something else. I mean, just look, look, at, look at inside here. We've got a back spindle with four stations. We've got a, a, milling, uh, a milling head, which is obviously an operation there. You can turn, you can do everything, can't you? Yeah, that's true, absolutely. And um, finally then, the Neo. What's the difference between the, the previous 191? What does the Neo make? Yeah, you must know the former machine, S191, was produced approximately 18 years. We have a lot of experience and we asked ourselves, what does the customer really need? And what the customer really needs, we have all put it in the 12 uh, different uh, possibilities of this Neo machine. What's that? Flexibility, speed, precision. Exactly. Accuracy, all of the yeah. things that people are after. Also the periphery, you can can be adapted, different uh, bar feeders, 
different chip conveyors, different high pressure pumps. So it's a production system which is very, very flexible. And we're going to have to move. People want to come and look at this machine. Thank you very much, uh, Michael. It's been a great insight. Perfect for the medical industry, the jewellery sector, uh, for complex, highly complex parts that really demand precision and need to be made quick. This is the Boomatech 191 Neo.